The number of bacteria in a refrigerated food product is given by N of T equals 23T squared minus 56T plus 1. Anywhere between 3 is less than T, which is less than 33, where T is the temperature of the food. When the food is removed from the refrigerator, the temperature is given by capital T of lowercase t, which equals 5t plus 1.5, where t is the time in hours. Letter A, find the composite function n of t of t. Okay, so back to composite functions. I'm going to put letter A over here. All we have to do is just find n of t of t. Actually, it's n of capital T, lowercase t. Okay, so guys, this is the last question in the playlist, so we've done tons of practice with uh, composite functions. Remember, with composite functions, you always work from the inner function to the outer function. The inner function is inside the parentheses. The outer function is outside. So the inner function here would be capital T of T. That's the inner function. And N is the outer function. So for these steps, for letter one, or actually number one, Plug in the input. It's usually a number for the in inner function and solve. But here, they just gave us t of t. So I can't really solve anything here. t of t equals 5t plus 1.5. I'm just taking it from this formula. Can't really solve here. I wasn't given a lowercase t at time, so I can't do much. So I have to move on. Now, well, that was an ugly 2. There you go. Okay, so now. That answer that we just got, remember, is the new input. And we plug that in for the outer function. The outer function here was the n function. But instead of just typing in capital T, this is my new thing that I have to solve for and plug in. So this would be n of 5t plus 1.5. That means that when I go back to my n function, which is only highlighted in the blue, don't really worry about this, this part. Sorry, it's only highlighted in the yellow. Jeez. Um, whenever you see a capital T, those are your variables, you're now going to be plugging in this for it. So here we go. It's going to be, if I can say it over here, 23 times it's not the capital T anymore. It's now 5T plus 1.5. And that is uh, squared. Let me just put that there. Minus 56. Here comes a T again. So that would be 5T plus 1.5. And then plus 1. That's the composite function. Now, if you need to simplify, and if you guys wanted to work on your you know, your algebra skills and foiling and all that stuff, you can, you know, foil this out and um, distribute between this, right? The 56, whoop, the 56 should be multiplied by both of these. For lack of time, and we should go to B, I'm just going to leave it as this, mainly because we have a number that we have to solve for anywhere in B. So it's going to be easier to just work it by this. So let's just say that this... If I can just sum this up, n of t, n of capital T of t, equals 23, 5t plus 1.5 squared, minus 56, 5t plus 1.5 plus 1. And there you go. Okay, so this is the answer to the first part. Now let's see what they say for b. Ooh. Okay, so for B, I'm going to put it over here. Find the time rounded to two decimal places when the bacteria count reaches 6,752. Okay, so for now what we're doing is we're using the formula that we just solved for. So N of capital T of T equals 23 5T plus 1.5 squared minus 56 5T plus 1.5 plus 1. And we need to find the time. So we have to solve for t when the bacteria count was this. Well, what variable is the bacteria count? It set it up at the top. It says the number of bacteria, the bacteria count, the number of bacteria 
is given by this, the N. Think of N as number. So I know that this whole thing is equal to 6,752. 6, so I'm going to just erase that. And instead, I'm just going to say that this all equals the bacteria count of 6,752. And now what we have to do is we have to solve for T. Okay, so it looks like we're getting into quadratic land over here because I see that I have 5t plus 1.5 and that's all being squared. I know just by practice that we're going to have two different variables. We're going to have a t squared and a um, t. So what I'm going to do is here, uh, there's going to be a lot of math. <laughs> so let's see. So let's, you know what, I have to get rid of all this probably. So if you need part A, just pause the video and just copy it down. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just get rid of this part. I'm going to keep this just so that this is much nicer. And I'm going to call this B. And I'm going to instead just put the number on this side. Okay, so now we are ready. And this equals 6,752. Okay, so first thing we got to do is we have to figure out what 5t plus 1.5 squared is. That is the equivalent to 5t plus 1.5 times 5t plus 1.5. This is your foiling technique where you have to multiply the first term by the first and the second term of the second parentheses and the f second term of the first bubble and multiply it by the first and the second. Okay, so when you do that, that will equal 5t times 5t is 25t squared plus 5 times 1.5 is, let's see, 5 times 1.5 is 7.5. So 7.5t plus 7.5t plus 1.5 times 1.5 is 2.25. Okay, so if I can sum summarize this all, 25t squared plus, this looks like 15t plus 2.25. That is all being put into this. So now that's all being multiplied by 23. So I'm just going to do that here. This has to be multiplied by 23. So that means that it's this distributive property, right? This has to be multiplied by this, which has to be multiplied by this, which has to be multiplied by this, right? So if I do that, and I'm going to write the answer down here now, 6,752 equals 23 times 25 is, 23 times 25 is 5, 000, uh, 575 plus, so that's 575t squared plus 23 times 15, you get 345t plus 23 times 2.25, you get 51.75. Okay. Now, enter this part, specifically the middle part, where I have to multiply 56 by these two values in the parentheses. So it's going to be minus 56 times 5. 56 times 5 is 280t, and then 56 times 1.5, that's also a minus 84, and then plus 1, because that's at the end here. Okay, so now I'm going to simplify all of this. Let's see, 6,752 equals 575t squared. Let's see, I have, here's one t value, here's another t value, so I will put them together. 345 minus 280 is 65, so plus 65t, uh, and then I have three just regular values. I have a 51.75, I have an 84 and I have a 1. 
So 51.75 minus 84 plus 1. You get a negative. Negative 31.25. Okay. Now we're starting to get into quadratic. So t squared and a t value. So I know I have to do the quadratic formula. So I have to get rid of this. I have to minus the 6,752 on both sides. Okay. Now I'm going to put it up here. Zero equals, remember, when, whenever you're doing the quadratic formula, you need to have it to be zero equals. So zero equals uh, five, seven, five t squared plus 65 t minus now negative 31.25 minus 6,752. So you get 6,783.25. Okay, and now we're ready for the quadratic formula. You have your a, b, and c values. Your, remember, the quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. This is the a value, this is the b value, and this is the c value. So a equals 575, b equals 65, and c equals a negative. 6,783.25. Quadratic formula is, um, in this case, we're solving for t. So t equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now, chances are that your computer, or actually your calculator, might be able to do this. Some calculators come with a app that you can do the quadratic formula. I'm just going to show you to plug in the numbers and then I'll just solve um, for it because I don't have the quadratic formula, but here we go. So T equals negative B was 65 plus or minus the square root of 65 squared minus four times 575 times C, which was negative 6,783.25 um, all over two times 575. Okay. So the first thing I'm, I'm going to do everything that's under the radical. So this would be T equals negative 65 plus or minus the square root of, if I do, let's see, four times, I'm going to kind of work backwards here, four times 575 times a negative 6,783.25. Then if I do 65 squared minus that answer, I should get under the radical a big number, 15605700. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square root that so I can get rid of that. And it's going to be plus or minus 3,950.4. We'll keep one decimal place. And then, oh, they want two decimal places. So we'll say 41. All divided by 2 times 575. So that's 1,150. Now this is where we um, divide them because it's a plus or a minus. So I can do negative 65 plus 3,950.41 all over 1,150, or I can do negative 65 minus 3,950.41 all over 1,150. So for both answers, you're going to get two answers here, and then we have to figure out which one is the right one. So for the one on the left, if I do negative 65, plus 3,950.41, all divided by 1,150, I get 3 point, they want two decimal places, so 3.38, um, and that's in hours. The time is in hours here. So this would be 3.38 hours. The other one, 
would be negative 65 minus 3950.41 divided by 1150 and you get a negative 3.49 we'll say four nine, so almost three and a half hours but the answer is well the question is which one is the right answer they're looking for a time value here is a positive time here is a negative time which one makes sense guys time is always positive so this has to be the answer this is not the answer because once you get a negative value for time you can automatically get rid of that so this would be three uh three point three eight hours and that's it so less than half an hour more than a quarter of an hour somewhere in there so like three hours and 20 minutes something like that but that's it that's the time that it takes for a bacteria to reach 6752 count that's crazy they grow so fast okay so whew, this one was crazy um but if you could do this and you know how to do the quadratic formula you know how to do part a you are a master at composite functions and if you've done all the problems in the playlist, which I highly recommend that you do, I have no, I, I can only say that you'd, you'd do really well on your composition function exam. All right. Um, we're moving on into a next topic. I think it's translations. So stay tuned for more of that. I'm so proud of you guys. You've worked so hard. Thank you for tuning in. Um, click the subscribe button to help us out. Thanks so much for that. And have a great day. Keep studying hard. You got this. All right. Bye.